there's a very hardcore, rabid fan base here in San Antonio for wrestling. There always has been, and it goes from generation to generation. But since 2002, um, we have performed in a variety of venues. Um, and so the, the San Antonio Library contacted us about doing an event. We're more than happy to do it and bring our brand of professional wrestling here and have a good time today. La máscara para la lucha libre mexicana siempre ha sido un, un mito desde la era prehispánica, desde los mayas, los incas en México. Siempre se hizo eh, este deporte de la lucha libre y ellos eh, simulaban en la máscara y, eh, ocultar su identidad eh, como un guerrero. Se rayaban, se pintaban los ojos, se ponían aretes, se ponían máscaras de, de piel que ellos mismos hacían. Entonces... Eh, la máscara tiene un significado para el luchador como ocultar su identidad para ser un gran guerrero arriba del ring. Lucha Libre en San Antonio es extremadamente popular, um, obviamente con la cultural conexión um, aquí en South Texas. Y como he dicho antes, it goes de generación a generación. Mi you know, abuela fue a los the wrestling matches y vio a Mil Mascaras y you know, Blue Demon, the, orig the original Blue Demon. And then, you know, now they're seeing the newer generations. And, you know, with each generation, there comes these high uh, impact, death defying moves that the bar constantly is raised. You know, it started off maybe with just an, you know, arm drag or a hip toss. And now it's evolved to, you know, all these stunts outside the ring and, you know, high flying acrobatics. Sometimes it's about the mask. That's a tradition from our Lucha Libre style. Um, they wear it to represent the warrior that's inside the wrestler. So sometimes he's an evil guy, sometimes he's a good guy, but we love them both because they're wrestlers. Now I believe we are San Antonio's brand of professional wrestling. They get to see some Hall of Famers, some Lucha legends, and they get to see some up and covers as well.